All right, I'm Satya with uh, Hecky Butler, and uh, yesterday was your press conference. Uh, obviously, today is a new day. Um, how are you feeling? Oh, I felt good yesterday. I felt even better today. The 12 or 14 rounds again. Media day was fun. A lot of people here. Um, you were here as well. You were running a bit late. I get that. But we made a plan so you can come today when it's just me and you, which makes it better. Um, in front, in the, as you can see, the boxing talk ring, which makes it even better, even better. But, um, you know, it was good, it was fun, and, yeah, everything's going well. It was actually a very well-attended media day yesterday. I saw a lot of uh, journalists coming out to obviously cover the story. Um, and uh, for you, it's just a nice boost to see all familiar faces around. Yeah, most definitely. It was fun. Um, fun to have everybody around again. Like you say, it was all the familiar faces, all the normal guys. And it's good that they're at least trying to pump the fight, get the pump fight out there, and get us fighters noticed in the world, which is brilliant. And of course, um, everyone knows the, the magnitude of the fight that you're going into now. I think we've, obviously, they're going to be live screening it at uh, the box camp in Boysons. Um, so that's, that must be special to you as well. Yeah, almost definitely. It's, it probably might be the biggest fight in my career, or well, one of them at least, definitely. Um, probably the hardest fight in my, in my career. And it is massive. It's a big one. So three world titles again. It's, it's for the Ring Magazine again, for the prestigious WBC, which I think only two South Africans have won prior to, to this. And for the WBA as well, so it's it's massive. It's it's a big fight. It's 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 a big one. It's it's one of those fights that come around maybe once once in a lifetime for a fighter. God willing, I can I can do what I what I what my mind is set out to do, which is win. I've trained for it and I feel ready for it. Probably a silly question, but has it sunk in yet? Or you know, is it just get, is, as it gets closer to the fights, is it sort of intensifying? Yeah, almost definitely. Like you know, as an ex-fighter as well, the closer you get to the fight, the more the stress starts, the more you start thinking. So I'm trying to keep my mind busy myself off of it. Um, but I know when, when we get there in Japan and it starts getting to the day before way and way, that's when the stress really kicks in. And I think I'm used to it. I, I'm, I'm addicted to that stress and I need that feeling. So it's fun. It's an amazing uh, position to be in. Obviously, you've worked really hard uh, to be where you are. You've obviously held titles before. And I keep saying, like, Where's the motivation going to come from after winning all the belts? But you've got other boxers that have done it before who've also won many belts. Um, for you now, uh, at this point, still highly motivated? Yeah, almost definitely. Like I've always said, I want to win all four belts. If possible, if God, if God willing, that can happen. And I just want to keep on making people like you, my family, my parents, my, my coach, my trainers, that is, um, the people around me proud. If I can do that, it keeps me motivated and, and I enjoy what I do. I really enjoy getting up and going for my run getting into the gym, doing the training. It's never fun to train, but I enjoy being in the boxing gym. It's a weird thing, but yeah, I love what I do. And uh, obviously, uh, you, you, Scott's part of the team as well now, your strength and conditioning coach, and he's obviously added a lot of value. We saw in your last fight with a first round knockout. We thought it was going to go a bit longer. Uh, talk about him. You know, Scott McIntosh is just, you know, he's done wonders for me. I feel more refreshed, I feel stronger, I feel better. I think it's the best decision I could have ever made in my career to start, how do I say, to start hooking up with him, to start getting me into my corner. Hooking up is a bit strange, but to start getting me into my corner, to start working with him. I think it was the best decision I could have made in my career. Especially having COVID, not fighting, I needed something different. I needed, I think, that extra push, that extra work that he's given me. We train differently, we, we, we pull weight differently. We, we do things differently, we do it more scientifically. I feel stronger, I feel better. Like you said, my one fight, one shot, I could take the guy out. I felt stronger when I fought in Mexico and Soto, so I believe in myself since joining Scott. My confidence has just skyrocketed, I feel stronger and better. Would you, I know it's a box, it's boxing and you've done strength and conditioning on and off in your career, but that, that knockdown against Soto, which ultimately gave you the win as opposed to a draw, was that down to strength and conditioning or was that boxing? I think it's a bit of both, like you'd say. But I'm sh I think it was a strength conditioning co coaching as well. Because after that fight, I spoke to Colin in the corner. I said, Colin, I'm, I'm upset with myself. And he says, Hecky, but why? You won the fight. Don't worry, you won. I said, no, but I still feel fresh. I still feel I can go a few more rounds. Because normally after the fight, I want to be, I want to be completely out. I want to be done. I want to push myself to that limit. And I was still feeling good. So it just shows that the extra work I'm doing with Scott is helping and it's making me feel better and stronger and fitter. Let's talk about weight cuts. Has that, has that changed for you? Yeah, big time. The way I do it now, I don't put as much strain on my body. I feel better. I feel stronger. I don't know. It just, just works out better. It makes me feel fresher in the ring and, and stronger. And, uh, you, you've been in some, some really tough contests uh, where, where it's been close. And even the Soto fight was a really close fight, uh, which pushed you uh, into this one. Um, be, it, be it as it may, 
it'll be a war either way, I'm, ass I'm assuming. Yeah, most definitely. This will be a fight of nutrition, of course. Kenshiro is a hard puncher, a very exceptionally good fighter, probably one of the top 10 in the world in my eyes. Number one junior flyer in the world for a reason. I'm going to be, have to be at my best, at my fittest, at my sharpest to win and to overcome. It's going to have to be my best performance. An interesting take. How do you think they're looking at you? I mean, from their side, have you thought about that? Not really, but I did an interview with, with some other guys from overseas and they said Kenshiro rates me as a good fighter. So that's quite an honor for, for you to hear that. But I'm sure as I've seen Kenshiro fight in the past, he always comes ready, willing and eager to fight. So I know it will be a hard and tough fight. We, we always look at the losses in the other boxers' careers. I'm sure Ken Shiro only has one loss and uh, he redeemed that loss. Of course, some of your losses were controversial as well. Did you take anything from his uh, performance when he did uh, lose? Well, not really. He, he had COVID when he, when he fought that fight. So you can't really take anything from it. Um, you watch it, of course, but I, I like to watch where the guys do their best because that's the guys I want to beat, the guy when he's at his best. And I believe he's going to be at his best, so that's the guy I want to beat when he's at his best. Do you think he changes much uh, in, his, uh, in, his, in his fight style uh, in, in approaching a fight like you? I actually haven't seen a lot of change in him, but he, he's so good that he's just better than everybody he's fought against. Even that guy Loskins in the rematch, he over, just dominated it. So he's just an exceptionally good boxer and he can change to the way that you fight, I think. We'll see what happens when we get into the ring. Right. And I, I don't think in Japan they boo boxers, but the away support's definitely going to be there. Um, and you've been through that before and you've overcome it. Um, does anything bother you going into the ring? No, I actually enjoy it. I enjoy getting booed or people not liking me or going against me and proving them wrong. Getting them on my side like what happened in Mexico. When I heard them starting to boo me, I knew I had this fight won. At the end, they were shouting, they were screaming for me. So, um, it's fun for me to go in there as the underdog, as the, as the villain, they would say, um, and just have fun. I love what I do and I enjoy it. So, I believe in myself and I'm going to come back with a win. Right, and uh, you're leaving literally this weekend now, so you'll be in Japan. So, this will probably be the last uh, interview that we uh, do before the fights, unless... Uh, and probably Colin, I might catch up with him. But um, Hex, I want to wish you all the best uh, for the fights. I know it's going to be another monumental moment for you in your career. And obviously, bring the belts home. Do it for South Africa. Do it for yourself and your family. Uh, all the best uh, for the fight. Uh, thanks so much. Thank to you for always um, pushing the fighters, pushing the boxers, getting our names out there. God bless all the viewers out there. God bless you. And keep watching. This is a great channel. You better support.